Hey guys, welcome to today's tutorial. Today's video is going to be on this look right here. It's a very easy to do um, summer makeup look. I love how it turned out and I think it's perfect for this time of year. I love the copper eye paired with the red orange lip. So if you guys want to see how to get this look, just keep on watching. So I'm going to start off with a bare face of course um, and I'm going to go in with the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. And I'm just going to take a little bit of this and press it into my skin to prime. And then for foundation, I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Pro Matte Infallible Foundation in the shade 103. And I'm going to be using my Real Techniques sponge to blend this out. Now for concealer, I'm going to be using my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 15. And I'm just putting this um, underneath my eyes, on the bridge of my nose, between my eyebrows, on my chin, and on my cupid's bow. And then I'm blending it out with the same sponge. Now it's time for some powder. I'm using this Rimmel Match Perfection uh, Translucent Loose Powder. I'm just going to tap some into the cap and apply it underneath my eyes. And then pat it all in. And then apply it anywhere else I also applied the concealer. Moving on to the eyes, I'm going to grab my Sonia Kashuk Matte Palette and I'm going to take this cream shade to set my eyelid down. And then I'm going to grab this taupe shade and start building a transition shade in my crease. And then I'm going to mix these two shades right here and start building on the outer corner of my eye. And I'm also going to bring this on the inner corner just to create a slight halo eye effect. And then I'm going to do the same on the other eye. And I'm just continuing to build this shade up in the outer and inner corner. So now I'm grabbing this ColourPop single in the shade Sequin. It's a very pretty metallic shade and I'm going to spray my brush first and then go into the eyeshadow and apply it on the lid. I'm mostly trying to keep this to the center of my eyelid. So I'm just packing that shade on the lid, making sure it's really intensified. And then I'm just going to blend everything out so there are no harsh lines. So now moving on, I'm going to add some winged liner. I'm going to use my NYC liquid liner in the shade black and just start creating a wing. And then I'm going to do the same on the other eye. Next, I'm taking my Ardell Demi Wispy Lashes and I'm going to apply the Duo Lash Glue and apply them to my eyes. I love how these lashes pair with this look. And then for the lower lash line, I'm going to take that light cream shade and buff it into the lower lash line. And then I'm going to take that deep brown shade and start applying that as well. And then I wanted to make the look um, more smoky on the lower lash line. So I'm taking this deep brown shade and really smoking everything out on the lower lash line. So next I'm taking this Hard Candy Single and I'm going to use this to highlight the inner corners of my eyes and then I'm going to use this light cream shade from the Sonia Cash palette to highlight my brow bone. Now it's time for some mascara. I'm using the L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara on my top and bottom lashes. And then going back to the face, I'm going to use my NYC Sun and Bronze Bronzer um, and I'm just going to bronze up my skin with this, applying it uh, to the hollows of my cheeks, my forehead and bringing it down my neck as well. For blush, I'm using my Tarte um, Amazonian Clay Blush in the shade Unstoppable. I think it pairs really nicely with this look and I'm just building it up on my cheeks. And then for highlighter, I'm grabbing this Wet n Wild highlighter in the shade Boozy Brunch. And I'm just going to apply this to the tops of my cheekbones, on my cupid's bow, and then um, some on my nose as well. And then for lips, I'm taking this Maybelline lip liner in the shade Very Cherry, and I'm just going to outline my lips and then kind of shade in the outer corners. And then I'm taking the Milani Matte Lipstick in the shade Matte Passion and I'm just going to apply this right on top.
And then to set everything in place, I'm gonna grab my L'Oreal Infallible Setting Spray and just spray it on. And that's it for this look. I hope you guys enjoyed and hopefully you try it out. I really love how the whole um, look turned out. But I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.